And now with Michael's help, we continue the journey. Here's the third promise Mark made to me. He said, if we do it right, and I want you to underline those words, because in the future as well as in the past, we've got to continue to do it right as a distributor, as a sponsor, from the medical board, to the executives of the company, to the staff that represents and helps uh, Herbalife distributors around the world, to each distributor. Here's one of the keys to our reputation of the future, and that's doing it right. And we can borrow the clues from the past because we've done it right that has brought us to this incredible year after 24 years in business. We've done it right, and we're gonna continue to do it right. Here's what he said. We can make a positive contribution to the lives of millions of people. Now that staggered my imagination. I could see thousands, I could see tens of thousands, I could see hundreds of thousands. That's not what Mark said. Mark said millions. Guess what it turned out to be? Millions. I learned very quickly to trust Mark's judgment and his vision because in those early years, he could see much further down the road than I could. Wow. And over time, he affected me a lot more than I affected him. He taught me more than I taught him. It's true in the beginning, I was his mentor, counselor, advisor, friend, whatever. But over time, those years that I knew this extraordinary young man, he taught me more than I taught him. And it's true, with his partnership, we were able to reach and touch the lives of millions of people. What an extraordinary journey it's been for me. Now. Some good advice, here's the list. Fine tune your listening skills. I know yesterday was challenging, the day before with our special group, it's all been challenging, right? To sort of shut out the world for a while and you know, let everything have its place out there while we move in here and concentrate on what's being said, the testimonials and the advice and the teaching and the training and all of the stuff that you've had to absorb. But not only here, when you get back, fine tune your listening skills so that you can listen to some of your own distributors who are ready to move up and maybe you've sort of missed it. And now if you go home and say, I'm gonna listen better now than I've ever listened before and see if I can't find some more leadership to gather up, help build the organization that will bless everybody's fortune and future. Listen to the testimonials Listen intently to every class that's being conducted, even if you've heard it a hundred times. Listen intently one more time. You'll pick up something you've never picked up before. Here's the next one. Listen to your heart. Listen to yourself. Especially you that have been with Herbalife five years, 10 years, some of you 20, 24 years. Listen to your heart again about what you want to do further with herbal life. You've come a long journey, but maybe there's some goals, there's some things that you'd like to do and like to accomplish that your heart now can tell you if you'll just take the time to do the listening. And that's my next point. Set some challenging goals. Don't wish it was easier. Wish you were better. Okay, don't wish... Don't wish for less problems, wish for more skills. Set some goals that'll make you stretch. Become more than you ever thought you could become. Not only business goals. I know some of you that are get team, you're trying to get the millionaire team. Some of you that are millionaire team, right? You're working hard to finally qualify for president's team. But here's what else I'm asking you to do. Set some personal goals. You know, who do you want to become? And set some goals for your family. They're depending on you to help set their goals. They can think of some things, but you've got to fill in all the rest about what's important for family, for future. So take on that responsibility of setting family goals, personal goals. If you're married, it's goals for your marriage. If it's friendship, it's goals for your friendship. If it's financial security, it's goals for financial security all the things you can think of, because here's what can happen with the Herbalife opportunity so ready to serve you. 
We can make all those dreams come true. If you'll step up, think of more things than you ever thought of before, here's the deal. Reasons make the difference in how your life works out. When I first met my mentor, I'm 25 years old, he said, Mr. Owen, I think you've got enough desire. I think you certainly have enough ambition. You're certainly willing enough. Probably what you need now is enough reasons to change your life. And if you have a strong enough reasons, you'll get up a little earlier and stay up a little later. Listen a little more carefully if you have enough reasons. So I'm asking you, while you're here, spend some time on that. And especially when you get home, find some time to get away. You and your husband, you and your wife, get away, set those goals, get together with the family, set some more goals, get together with your organization when you get back, set those goals. If you haven't found two or three leaders to work with, go find them, set the goals. I'm gonna find two or three people to work with me and we'll just blow this city wide open. We'll make this state, right, sit up and take notice of herbal life. Now, here's what's next. Pray for patience. Doesn't come easy. All of us, especially that are ambitious, ambitious to succeed, ambitious to help someone to succeed, ambitious to conquer our world, do the best we possibly can. It's not that easy to be patient, but I'm asking you to pray for it. Sometimes it's got to come as a gift that you'll be patient with your people, you'll be patient with your customers, some are easy and some are difficult. That little morning prayer, dear Lord, give me the patience today to handle somebody's upside down personality, right? That's gonna challenge me. I'm asking you to pray for a little patience with the company you know, the transition has been long, three plus years. And now, right, getting things meshed to work together and it's coming together. Things are really happening now fairly swiftly. But give the company a little time. If we make a promise and something happens and something's a little delayed, have a little patience. Here's the last one. Have some patience with yourself. Just, you know, you get to sometimes just sit down and just take it easy. And just take it easy on yourself. You'll get there. You'll learn. You can change. You can grow. Here's my next bit of advice on this dramatic day. Find some extra courage. Here's number one, to make the tough decisions. I don't know what all the decisions you had to make to get here. That's probably a good start. When you get home, you're gonna to have to make some more, but reach down inside. Some of the answers are outside. Some of the answers are in these incredible products. Some of the answers come from our history and our legacy. Right? Come, some come from our reputation. Some come from those that are surrounded, but here's the deal. The tough decisions you have to make all by yourself. And the courage to do that comes from inside. We're here to support you all the way. This is part of the herbal life tradition, helping each other to succeed, wishing each other well. Here's another one now, public courage. You know, we're gonna bump around, right? Some other people maybe bruise a few egos along the way of other companies and other traditions and other things that are happening out there, but be willing to take a unique stand for Herbalife in public. We've now got an incredible public image. Let's keep it going. Have the courage to speak up for Herbalife. Here's the next one now, private courage. When no one else is around and you've got to dig deep inside to make decisions you haven't made before, Here's a good list. Have the courage to change. If you need to change, then change. If you need to read, then you've got to do your reading. If you need to listen, you've got to do your listening. If you need to grow, then you've got to start growing. 
If you need to be a better example of the Herbalife success story, then just ask for strength and help and get on course and just go. Here's the next one, the courage to forgive. We've got egos and personalities, you know, plenty, especially gathering all of us here, 10,000 in Nashville. And sometimes we, you know, bump into each other. You got to learn to say, pardon me. <laughs> all the things that keep us, you know, going down the same road here. You know, egos bump up against each other. Once in a while in the early days, some had such huge egos when we knew they were coming to town, we enlarged the doors so that they could get through <laughs> the door with their egos. But... Here's the key. The courage to have a touch of humility, no matter how grand and glorious your success might be, a touch of humility will make you more sophisticated than you can imagine and will make your story shine brighter. Remember, the poor must be taught not to be cynical, but the rich must be taught not to be arrogant. Here's the next one, the courage to compromise. When to make things work in your local community, your local organization, the STS, whatever it is, to compromise, give a little, someone else will give a little, you give a little, right? Not so demanding. We don't want to let everything just fly apart. Everything does have to work well, but learn to work together. If you'll have the courage to do that, I promise you, Herbalife is going to be secure for the future. Here's the next one, courage to risk. For some of you, it took a lot of courage to be here, risking the time, risking the arrangements you had to make, risking the promises probably some of you had to make to get here. Now you got to go home and make those promises come true. <laughs> Have the courage to invest your time. We've got a limited supply. The courage to invest your emotion your heart, your soul. The unique thing about Mark Hughes, his heart and spirit was right out there to be invested. So it got bruised and so it got misunderstood, but he was always willing to risk it, to risk taking the first step, to risk the first phrase, I love you, even though you weren't quite sure you were gonna hear one back. You just risk it, just let it go. Next, the challenge for all of you here, since you have done extraordinary things to get here, now use all of that that it took to get here to now become a leader. Your family needs an extraordinary leader. Your community needs an extraordinary leader. Your organization needs an unusual leader to make all the promises that our marketing plan says and that our history says is possible. Now comes the challenge of leadership to make sure that all of that happens. Here's the key now on leadership. Be willing to accept the opportunity and the responsibility. Become a leader to your customers. We've talked a lot about that yesterday. Helping customers through that early look at what we've got that could be the answer to their challenges. And sometimes it takes somebody to take them by the hand and say, hey, it's going to be okay, let me show you. It's going to be okay, let me show you. Become a leader and inspire your inner circle. Don't be the person who can inspire their organization but not their children. Help your organization set goals and help your children set goals. Help people make wise decisions about how to proceed and what to do with their time and their money. What to do with the opportunity so that it doesn't slip through their fingers and someday they'll regret that they let it get away. Next, I ask you to work on all of your skills and all of your gifts. It's been my challenge since coming from the farm country of Idaho. working on my gifts, working on my skills so that they found a place for me.
There's an ancient phrase that says this from the old prophet. If you work on your gifts, they will make room for you. If you work on your gifts, they'll make a place for you. You'll have a place to serve, a place to be effective, a place to have influence. If you work on your skills, work on your gifts. I've got to be one of the good examples. Look where my gifts have brought me. From the farm country of Idaho to Nashville, Tennessee. Wow.